And I'm Simeon. And we are here to bring you a video about how to dance heel turns. You can find a full article about this on our blog at www.skdancesport.com. Simeon, you ready to get going? Sure. Let's do it. Alright guys, so uh, before we get started into showing you how to do heel turns and heel pivoting actions and going into some of the details about heel pivoting actions, we're first going to talk about you know, what actually a heel pivot is, why it's important, and when you would be dancing it. Number one, it's an integral part of ballroom dancing. It's in every single dance, uh, including the tango. And uh, it's a very noticeable step. Judges can see right away if you've done a good heel turn or a bad heel turn. Uh, they're very difficult. Uh, balance is difficult for a heel turn. Leading it is very difficult. Following it is difficult. Um, and it's, uh, it's also important for tight turns. So. The important thing to know about heel pivoting actions is that a heel pivot in and of itself is when you are pivoting on the heel of your foot. So most times when we are dancing and we do any sort of a turning action, we pivot on the ball of our foot. So that means that the ball of our foot is the center of rotation and the heel rotates around the ball of the foot. In a heel pivot, it's opposite. So that means that your weight is gonna be on the heel of your foot and then your, the balls of your feet are rotating around the heel. The simplest type of heel pivoting action is simply the heel pivot. The heel pivot is described in newcomer level in quick step to start with. And it's really simply, it's, it's for the man and it's very simply uh, back on the man's right foot, pivot on the heel of the right foot as you draw the left foot in and close. And we'll have an example of how we do that later. The next one is heel turns themselves. Uh, the first thing you want to do is put your weight, roll your weight back onto your heel. So let's say you're going back on the right foot. You roll your weight back to the right heel. You're going to swivel on the back heel as you draw your left foot in. And when you're done drawing the foot in and you're done with your turn or the swivel on the heel, the heel turn, you're going to change weight. You're going to roll to your toes and you're going to come out. All right, the next important one to know is the heel pull. The heel pull is really similar to a heel turn. Generally, the man dances the heel pull. So in a heel pull, the man is gonna step back on the left foot, he's gonna transfer his weight into the heel of his left foot, and he's gonna pivot on his left foot while he gradually brings the right foot in. But instead of changing weight and stepping out like he would in a heel turn, he's actually going to slip the right foot to the side and end with the feet apart. The next one is an open heel pivot, and that's very common in twist, twist turn actions. We have it in foxtrot, we have it in tango, uh, and it's basically when you're pivoting on the heel of one foot and the ball of the other foot. You can say that you're slightly split weight and you're swiveling on the heel of one and on the ball of the other foot. All right, so the final uh, type of heel pivot that we are going to talk about in today's video is called the open heel pivoting action. So the open heel pivoting action is really similar to the man's open heel pivot, however, uh, what he does is, uh, just like in the open heel pivot, he's going to pivot on the heel of one foot and the toe of the other foot. But, instead of actually transferring his weight during the uh, pivoting action, he's going to maintain his weight on the back foot so that he allows the lady to pass in front of him. This is usually danced in a telespin action. Um, it's a very advanced uh, type of heel pivot. It's only danced at open level and it's not going to be uh, important for the majority of you watching this video, but it's always good to know. The last type of heel pivoting action that I have in my article, which by the way, you can see in the, you can see the link to the article in the description below. So just take a look at that description below and you'll be able to see the link to the article on the blog, um, skdanceport.com. Uh, the last pivoting action in that article is called the rising heel pivot. The rising heel pivot is extremely rare. It's hardly ever danced. Um, and so we're not going to really spend any time going over it in, in this video. Um, if you really want to know how to do it, come take a lesson. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, now we're actually going to go into detail about how to dance these different actions and give you guys some tips and advice on how you can, how you can practice them and make your heel pivots uh, look better. Um, some more smooth and satisfy all the, the foot Nazi judges out there. The heel pivot is the simplest of all heel pivoting actions. It is danced by the man during the quarter turn left and quick step. The timing we count it as slow, quick, quick, slow, or 
slow, slow, slow. Here, Simeon is dancing without a partner to show the precision of his action. He rolls his weight to his heel early in the step to allow himself to pivot on the heel. Notice how he gradually brings his free foot in as he pivots. He does not change weight and he steps out on the flat foot. The footwork is toe heel, heel flat, heel. Simi Nicor will demonstrate it for you one more time. The heel turn is by far the most common of all heel pivoting actions. First, Cora will show the ladies part of a reverse or left pivoting heel turn. Notice how she pivots on one heel at a time, taking care to gradually bring her feet together so that her feet close parallel. Her footwork here, shown in the ladies part of a reverse turn in Foxtrot, is toe heel, heel toe, toe heel. Next, Simeon will show the man's version of a heel turn by dancing a closed impetus. Notice how he pivots on the heel of his left foot first, and only after he closes his feet does he rise to dance a toe pivot with his right foot. This requires a high degree of precision and balance to dance it as beautifully as Simeon is dancing right now. His footwork in this figure would be, as demonstrated here, Toe heel, heel toe, toe heel. Simeon and Cora will once again demonstrate both the closed impetus and the reverse turn in Foxtrot. At the syllabus level, a heel pull is danced exclusively by the man. Simeon will pivot on the heel of his left foot, just like an impetus turn. But instead of closing and rising, he will instead pass his feet and into the side. This is really a finesse step. His footwork begins with toe heel, inside edge of ball of left foot, to the inside edge of ball of right foot and ending flat. Simeon and Cora will show you one more time. An open heel pivot is danced by the man in the natural twist turn in both tango and foxtrot. Needless to say, the tango version, shown here, is danced without rise. Simeon will step back and across on his right foot, but keep his weight split. As he turns, he is pivoting simultaneously on the heel of his left foot and the ball of his right foot. Watch again as he dances his open heel pivot. This technique will allow him to guide Cora perfectly as he completes his turn. Simon and Cora will show you one more time. An open heel pivoting action is danced by the men in the telespin. This step is a very advanced figure, but is danced in four out of five dances at the open level, so it's definitely worth learning and perfecting. The first thing the man must do is lead the lady into her heel turn. After he has led the lady to change into inside prominent position, he can now dance his open heel pivoting action. There it is. And from another angle. Ladies, don't forget about your heel turn. You've got one too. Let's take a look at that in dance hold one more time. And from the other angle. Some tips and advice for dancing your heel turns correctly. 
Um, and also uh, a few uh, quick little bits about how to lead the heel turn for the man. For the ladies, how to follow a heel turn. We're gonna try to dispel this whole myth of early rise, this whole enigmatic thing. And uh, we're gonna show you guys a really nice um, exercise that we used when we were when we were young youthful dancers trying to uh, trying to perfect our heel turns. So first, starting with how do you lead a heel turn? Well, it's it's actually pretty straightforward in a sense. Yeah. The first thing you have to do is you have to put the lady's weight on the heel. So that means you're gonna go just a little bit more forward onto the ball of your foot than you normally would on, let's say, a normal natural turn or a normal reverse turn. So I grab the lady, take the lady. So maybe this is gonna be a normal natural turn, and when I get her to here, I move her off of her foot. In a heel turn, so a natural heel turn, I'm gonna put her a little bit further over her heel. And then what's really important is from here, I need to not move her as I take a second step. So I leave her where she's at. When she feels me changing weight, she will change weight as well, yeah? So instead of putting her partially onto the foot, or I guess onto the foot but not onto the heel, and moving her off, versus yeah, putting her all the way onto the heel, going around her but not really moving her, and then moving her on the way out. So you have to really practice getting that lady onto the heel um, and get a feel for where her weight is on the foot. For the ladies, the most important thing is to not commit to doing a heel turn too soon. Even if you know that it's coming up, don't just anticipate the heel turn and then jump right into it. What's really important about the heel turn is the fact that you actually have to wait for the man to not only put your weight over your heel, but then you have to make sure that his rotation around you is tight enough so that your feet actually close. So this happens all the time. Actually, from a lady's point of view, even if you pivot on the heel, but you don't close the feet because the man made you pass your feet, that is still correct for you. It may be an incorrect heel turn, but for you as the lady, it is correct because the man led you to pass your feet. So, if we do an example, uh, while Simming was describing how to lead the heel turn, he led it really, really nicely. So he put me onto my heel, and then he made the turn just tight enough so that I was able to close my feet. So if we do that again, I step back and wait. See how I'm, my, my weight is still not on that foot yet. Then I close as he moves out of it. Yeah? However, let's say he led me into that heel pivoting action, and then led me to pass my feet. It's very, very common in a running right turn in quick step. Because while the momentum of the man, he ends up stepping too far away from the lady, the lady steps her feet. 90% of people is messed that up. The other place where it's really common is in a change of direction in clock track. In fact, we dance it in, in our routine sometimes. When we dance a change of direction in our fox trot, sometimes we're running out of space. So Simeon ends up dancing the rotation in that change of direction so tightly that I dance a heel pivot, but then I still pass my feet at the end of it. So I wait for him, and then we step to the side. So in this case, actually I did my part correctly. Even though it may not be a proper heel turn like what we're anticipating, but because I keep my body with Simeon, because I'm moving with him, it is still correct from that point. All right, the next thing that we wanna talk about is this myth of early rise. I hear teachers talking about this all the time. I have students coming to me, I'm sure Simeon does as well, and asking about this whole early rise thing. The problem with this is that this doesn't exist anywhere in the technique. It's just something that somebody made up or they heard from someone and it sounded good to them and now they keep repeating it. If you actually look into the technique of the heel turn, there is no such thing as early rise. In fact, there are some heel turns that have zero rise at all. And I'm not talking about heel pivoting actions such as the quarter turn to the left in quick step or an open heel pivot in the natural twist turn, which are all examples of heel pivots that have zero rise. But the heel turn itself, as an example, the zigzag back lock and running finish in quick step has zero rise, and yet the lady still must dance a heel turn. So if heel turns exist where there is no rise, then Early rise as a requisite for leading a heel turn is false. It's a fallacy. Although I do have to say that if you do a little bit of rise at the, at the, towards the end of the first step, the way it's described in the technique book, it does make the heel turn a little bit easier to follow and a little bit easier to lead. But it's true, there's some steps that just don't have it, so what do you do there? I think the most important thing is lady puts her weight on the heel, man goes around the lady, 
when he changes weight, she hasn't moved anywhere, so she changes weight in place. So she's done, she's closed her feet, and she's turned on the heel. There you go, we got a heel turn. Uh, to demonstrate this point exactly, we are going to dance for you the zigzag backlock and running finish. Not the entire thing because we can't fit it in, but uh, the zigzag backlock and running finish, the heel turn portion of it in quick step as is described with zero rise. The last thing is, the way that the footwork is described in the heel turn is the man commences to rise at the end of one. This is normal for most steps that you do. If you dance a normal natural turn in waltz, the one, two, three of a natural turn, the man's rise is commenced to rise at the end of one. It's the exact same thing for the heel turn. The lady's rise is actually less in a heel turn than it is in a normal natural turning figure or reverse turning figure. Our footwork and our rise is commenced to rise at the end of one with no foot rise. It means that not only are we not rising earlier than normal, but we're not even rising through our foot as well. So this is a really important point to remember. All right, the last little point that we're gonna discuss with you is I'm gonna give you some points from a lady's point of view and how you can make sure that you close your feet every time when you're doing natural or when you're doing the heel turn. This is probably the most difficult thing about dancing heel turns is actually closing your feet consistently every time. So when you're doing a heel turn, the most important thing, ladies, is not to be too excited to close your feet. Yeah, A lot of people, they think that the be-all, end-all to the heel turn is closing the feet, and it's actually not true. As a teacher and as a judge, I can tell if you're closing your feet because you're trying extra hard to do it, or you're closing your feet because the man actually led you correctly. So the key to that is wait as long as possible. The man is supposed to lead the rotation so that your feet close naturally. So, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna show you the most common mistake that ladies make. So in their zeal to get their feet closed, they dance the heel turn something like this. And as you can see, without exaggeration, I fell off balance. I really didn't make that up, yeah? So if I do that again, the problem with that was two things. Number one, I stepped before the man. When the lady steps before the man, his weight overtakes mine because I wasn't able to actually tell how big of a step he's taking, and then he runs me over. The second thing I did was I stepped before the man, and then I closed my heels before it was time. So then I tried to get the heel to my two heels, but you see that now his weight is overtaking me, so we're gonna fall off balance unless he's nice and holds you up. And we don't wanna rely on the men to hold us up. So what do we need to do? Be patient and wait. So, if we show that slowly, I wait to take my step with him, I wait to close my feet so that I'm moving my body with him 100% of the time. All right guys, thank you so much for joining us uh, as we did this video for you about heel turns and heel pivoting actions. We hope that this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can do that by pressing that subscribe button right down there. You can also join us on our blog, www.skdancefort.com. That's S for Simeon, K for Cora, dancefort.com. You can subscribe to our email list there as well, and that way you'll get updates whenever we publish these new uh, tutorials and tips for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.